Hello everyone, welcome to day six of the Admin Lightning Challenge. So great job to everyone so far for completing so many of these challenges and sharing your solutions on Twitter and the success community with hashtag lightning challenge. If you're just getting started with us, it's not too late. Go to admin.salesforce.com slash lightning challenge and you can catch up on all of the previous challenges and still be eligible to have completed all 10 challenges by the end of our two week period, November 22nd, and get your awesome admin lightning challenge prize. So let's get started. Today's challenge recipient of our daily awesome admin swag is going to get a awesome Salesforce admins hoodie. These are some of my favorite hoodies. They're very comfortable um, and they're very popular and you can wear it around and, and show off your awesome admin swag. And so let's take a look at our day five winner. Debbie Dantes shared her completion of day five and she updated her lead record page and included a lead quality score chart and a news feed. So great job, Debbie. Thank you for sharing your day five solution. And we look forward to seeing all of the future solutions you share. So what was our day five challenge? Our day five challenge was to customize one of your existing standard or custom record pages using standard components. So I wanna show you how I did that in my Lightning app and then we'll get on to our day six challenge. So I'm gonna customize my account page. I'm in my Volunteer Force app that I showed you yesterday, and I want to customize this existing account page. So right now I have my related tab that has news and Twitter and related lists. And I also have my details tab, which has that page layout that most of you admins are familiar with. And on the right, I have two tabs, including my chatter feed and my activity. I want to customize this a little bit to make sure that I'm organizing the existing information using tabs and then also including some new information for my users. So I'm going to go to edit page in the top right. We have got that little gear. So when we go to edit page, I'm taken to the lightning app builder page for my account record page. If you're ever not sure where you are in lightning app builder on the top left, it'll always just tell you what page you're editing so you can make sure you're staying navigated. So I want to include more information, right? I want to give my users more insight. And one of my favorite components to do that is the report chart component. I know as an admin, we often are getting requests for more analytics, more details. And now with the report chart component, you can bring in account or um, bring in reports and I can say, okay, this is looking at my report opportunities by account, but I can also filter then by the account ID. So until I click that filter, it's just looking at everything. And I can also give the option to have a refresh button. Um, so when people are viewing it, they can choose to refresh the report. So that's great. But now my page is, it's kind of taken over. I've got this huge chart in the middle and then I've got news and my users really have to scroll down to get what they might really be here for, which is the related list or information that they might need really quickly, like details. So I'm going to use tabs to organize this a little bit. So I'm going to go to my tabs on the right here. I've got my default tab set to activity. I've got my activity tab and I've got my chatter tab. But I'm going to add a new tab and I'm going to call it analytics. Now, when you have tabs, we do have this set of existing standard tab names like feed, details, engagement. Um, I'm gonna create a custom tab and I'm gonna call it analytics. And this also gives me the option, you know, if I choose to add more charts, I can do that as well. So I'm gonna drag this component down into that analytics section. I can see it automatically resizes for me. And now my users can click through and they can see analytics if they want. Now on my main area here, my, my big tab, my, the wide tab I have in the center, I've got related and details. And I'd like to bring some organization here. And so I'm going to do that again with tabs by first saying I want my default tab to be details because I feel like my users want to get to details first. So I'm selecting my default tab of my options to be details. And then I'm also going to add a new tab. And I'm going to make this another custom tab and I'm going to call it I'll call it news and insights. And so once I have this new tab, I want to bring my news into it. 
<clears throat> and so um, I take my news off of here. Now I could just copy and paste if I wanted, but I just want to show you how I can drag these over. And then I go to news and insights and I can just drag news right over. And I can also, let's say, bring my Twitter component over here as well. This is kind of where I'm going to put all of my additional insights. And then I can remove Twitter from that main related. So now with a few clicks, I've defined the default landing tab as details. I have moved some things around into additional tabs like news and insights, really optimized my real estate here. I've also added my analytics um, report chart as well. And I can, of course, continue to add more reports if I'd like. So that is how I customized my page using standard components. And I loved seeing all of your solutions for customizing all of your standard and custom pages um, using these standard components. So what is our day six challenge? Even more customization. Um, now that we're acquainted with our standard components, standard lightning components, go ahead and customize one of your home pages or customize an existing home page or a new home page and assign it by profile. This was something that I wanted to be able to do so often as an admin to be able to quickly make these home pages for my users. Um, so I look forward to seeing your solutions with the hashtag lightning challenge on Twitter or the success community. And I will see you tomorrow. Awesome admins.